I'm Mangpie, and welcome to a follow-up video, <laughs> staying true to form. Because in my last video, I had this amazing experience, experimenting with a talk box and just feedbacking with it. So plugging the microphone, where we mic up the tube from the talk box back into the talk box, and then playing that feedback, sort of reacting to it, or like performing with it. I don't really know how to phrase it. I suggest you just go watch the video because it's incredible, at least as far as the experience of doing it goes. At least for me. If anyone else tries it out, I want to hear from you. <laughs> Join the Discord, link in the description, and let me know. However, I did see so many comments in the comment section in regards to but if you make the tube longer, will it have a different note? Like, will you play around with different pitches? And that got me thinking, hmm, yes, perhaps, but I would really enjoy being able to sort of control that. Hmm. <laughs> How would I go about doing that? I happen to have this Suzuki Andes 25F. It's a, like a melodica, but with flutes. Meaning that each and every key here opens up a flute of varying length. And if you play it, which I can do really quickly, maybe this is easier actually than... <laughs> It sounds like you would expect, but not what you actually would pay for it. I have a video on this one uh, from a while back, and it's uh, quite marvelous, but very expensive, sadly, so that's kind of dumb. But I figured, what happens if I plug the tube that just happens to fit perfectly from this talk box into the Tsutsuki Andes and mic it up. Well, I don't know. What do you think would happen? Should we perhaps try it out? Maybe I did already try it out and maybe it was amazing. And maybe I should warn you that the sounds in this video might be a bit wild and crazy. <laughs> Let's explore. Yeah, if we engage, nothing happens. And I don't know what I've said it at, but Apparently, I don't need to know. Like, it works! It, it kind of works! Like, it locks on to the note that is the same note, I think. I should try. So if we do the lowest note... Like, it's the same note. But I don't think it's playing the flute, but it kind of sounds like it's playing the flute. It's like this brand new type of instrument. The feedback organ <laughs> of sorts, where you're actually able to, in a somewhat controlled manner, play the feedback. Because it's not able to push through unless I engage a key. Which is really cool. Like, it's, it's ready to scream, but it doesn't, unless I press. And if you engage more drive, then... Oh. It's really ex very, very experimental. <laughs> it's not like I can go in and, and play a melody. 
I don't think, or I could kind of, but that's not what you would use this for anyways. It's like this bizarre horror type instrument. And I, right now I'm currently just doing this one feedback, but since I'm going through a mixer, it's really easy with just a patch cable now to set up a second feedback loop. So... <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. This was just horror noises with uh, this. There's probably a ton of other follow-ups I can do with this type of technique now. I feel like I've accidentally stumbled into something with enormous horrific potential. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. And, uh, and yeah, if you truly disliked it, don't forget, it's just sounds.